I'm Trent Wilson from Wiringa and Gugatha tribes, the far west coast of South Australia. And I got into Deadly Funny because uh, my brother told me about it. It was two days before uh, last year's heat in Adelaide. And I just put a few bits together and here I am. I'd describe my own comedy style as probably a little dry. Uh, trying to find the most absurd things in any situation. Just playing with it and seeing what comes out. The best thing about performing in front of everyone is obviously making them laugh and you get that feeling when you just, you, you know your jokes hit, hit the spot and that's a really good feeling. But it breaks down a lot of barriers. Everyone, everyone likes to laugh and you know, if you can say a good joke in a crowd, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, people will accept you. Yeah, I'm feeling really prepared for tonight so I think the confidence will come once I'm up there. I'm ready to go. Oh wait, oh, that's just my weed. It gives me different type of benefits. I went to Macca's today because I had the munchies. Uh, while I was there, I thought I'd go a 50 cent cone. But they're 60 cents now, it's a bit of a rip off. <laughs> I remember when it was the 30 cent cone, even your most tired ass cousin would splash out by themselves too. <laughs> At least a 50 cent cone had a cool ring to it. It sounded like 50 Cent got jealous when he found out Eminem has his own McFlurry. <laughs> 50 Cent lost that McRap battle. <laughs> but as a country, we can't complain about soft serve prices. I was in America recently, $1.25 for one cone. That's $1.74 Australian last time I checked the exchange rate. Which really begs the question, why is dairy so expensive in North America? I'll tell you. <laughs> it's due to an outdated trade system called supply management. Industry competition is prevented by high tariffs, <laughs> regulated quotas, allowing a small group of dairy farms to set their own milk prices. Yeah, they're really milking the system. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I googled that information. <laughs> Uh, after America, I went down to um, a Mexican Maccas. Uh, cheaper soft serves, only 10 pesos. The person serving me there, they weren't quite used to seeing slightly brown Australians. Well, once they heard my accent, they said, Australians are pink, you're yellow. I'm Aboriginal and British, so it's not hard to figure out. My dad's black, my mum's white. And there's some Mongolian on my dad's side as well, so I get a little bit Genghis Khan. <laughs> and thanks to my native side, I got a pretty decent sized penis. <laughs> I'm, I'm just bragging. <laughs> uh, but being um, Aboriginal and British, it's actually a really difficult position to be in. Because I feel this constant battle raging inside of me like I'm invading myself. <laughs> <laughs> but if I feel sorry for myself, I can tell myself to get over it. <laughs> I can give myself handouts. <laughs> and I can take possession over all of your belongings simply by pretending you don't exist. <laughs> all right, if anyone wants to hit up Maccas with me after the show, 60 cent cones my shout. <laughs>